Hi, and welcome to uh, this first week video installment uh, for No Bones About It Puppy Day School. I just want to cover a couple different concepts that uh, apply to all of our training. First of all, we are using uh, positive reinforcement training, which means that we elicit certain behaviors from our puppies. Um, we reward them for those through various methods. Um, most, most of the time we are using some kind of food rewards, but we also incorporate toys, verbal praise, physical praise, all of those things. Um, but the fastest, easiest way and most efficient way is for us in the beginning to be using um, some kind of food-based reward. So we elicit certain behaviors from our puppy, we reward them for those behaviors, and then as the dog progresses, then we give those behaviors a name, that is our cue, and then the dog starts to want to offer those behaviors because they've been rewarded for them, and then eventually respond to that cue, and whether or not there's a reward involved, they will still perform that behavior. That's a super quick, in a nutshell, description of how we work this training. There's like some kind of bird right above me here. Um, so, a word about our food. Um, you will see me training a lot of times with some kind of hip pack on. Um, maybe I have a um, container of food and it is somewhere around me or near me, but I try to be very careful to keep my body language in what I would call a very neutral position. So what that means is that even if I have food on me or in my hands, it's not sitting out in front that is visible to the dog. Um, a, that's very distracting for the dog. And B, they've learned very quickly to read your body language. Is she sitting there holding cookies or treats in her hand? And if not, maybe I will or will not. So even if I have that food in my hand, when I'm asking for something or trying to elicit a behavior from a puppy, that, that food remains hidden from the dog's visual until they've performed the behavior and heard what we call our marker word. So that gets me to the next point, which is a marker word. Our marker word is yes. It is used to mark the exact moment that your dog does the behavior that we're looking for. So if I'm asking for a sit, it would be the second that the dog's um, butt hits the ground. Uh, and so it would look something like, hi, Papa. Sit. Yes. And then my food reward follows with um, after that marker word. So why is the marker word important? The marker word is important because, again, it marks the exact moment that the dog does the right thing, which becomes important when we are trying to give information to that dog and we're not right next to them or we can't possibly get that um, primary reward, that food reward or that toy or whatever it is to that dog the exact second that they do the right thing. So as we know, timing is really uh, critical when we're working with a dog. So our, excuse me. So it becomes really, really important that we use that marker word every time we're working on a behavior. So the dog knows that they've performed the correct behavior. And then the last thing that we do when we're working on an exercise is use something that we call a release word. The release word is the word that we use every time we want to let the dog know that they're finished with the behavior or that I'm done. So let's say I asked for a sit. The, the progression would be, um, and we use a, another fr phrase called say it, show it, pay it. So that's when a dog is learning something from the brand new, we say what we want, that's our cue. So it would be sit. Then if the dog doesn't know what we want, them to do we we show them we somehow elicit the we use a treat a lure or something to show the puppy the direction that we want them to go in um, and then the pay it part is when they get their reward so if I were working on a, a sit it would be sit dogs butt hits the ground I'm gonna say yes to mark that behavior the second the butts hitting the ground then their food reward their primary reward comes and then I release them by saying okay 
And again, you'll see this all in our demos of everything that we're doing. Um, I just wanted to cover those, those few things um, in the beginning. The next step in our training is that we work on from week one, we focus on what we call our foundation skills. Our foundation skills are those things that are going to, everything else is gonna build on. So think of it just like a foundation. You can't build on any skills unless your foundation is solid. So um, our foundation skills are name game, a gotcha game, hand targeting, and reward zone. Okay, so over the next week or two, we're going to make sure we introduce all of those. But for now, for the first week, we focus on name game, hand targeting, and the gotcha game, those three. So we're going to get to demoing those in just a minute. And uh, each week, we will build with other behaviors. You will see these in your video, uh, weekly review videos. And uh, I look forward to having you along this journey. All right, so we're just gonna be um, demoing some of our foundation games right now. So first one we do is name game. Again, my treats are hidden behind my back. Ira! Bop, bop, bop. Okay, so I didn't get any kind of response right then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna engage the puppy a little bit. Hi, hi, he was sniffing the ground. Hey, buddy. What I don't want to do is um, repeat the dog's name when we're doing name games. So you get to say your puppy's name one time, and if they don't respond, then you have to try to figure out how to make it easier, okay? So here we go. He knows that I've got some cookies now. I'm gonna do a treat toss, go find it. Ira! Yes. Okay, so that wasn't really fast, but he, he was, not he's not convinced yet that paying attention to me is better than searching for stuff on the ground so that comes with practice ira yes good using that marker word go find it good job ira yes very good pop up go find it Okay, we also want to be really careful that when you're playing name game that you don't ask for any of the other behaviors like sit or down or anything after that. You just want to make sure that your dog understands that um, what they're getting rewarded for is that eye contact. So as soon as you get at that eye contact, you're going to use your marker word yes and then the cookie follows. Again, and treats are like either in my pockets like this or just slightly behind my back. All right, go find it. Good job. Ira. Yes. Good job. Very nice. Hey, go find it. Ira. Yes. Very nice. And I really want him to come all the way in towards me. Don't want to necessarily have to reach out to give him those cookies. Ira. Go find it. Oh, you missed that one. You missed that one. Oh. Okay, so the only reason we do the treat toss is to get the dog to look away from us and get distracted for a second or two. Um, if he's doing that just kind of on his own, I won't necessarily do the treat toss. Ooh, there's lots of birdies. Lots of birdies. Ira! Yes. Good. You want to make this so easy that he has at least a 90% success rate when you're practicing. Do not practice this when it's really high distraction areas yet. Go find it. Ira! Yes. Good job, buddy. Okay, then we talked about that little collar grab thing, the gotcha game. So I've got one treat in my one hand. My other hand is going to be the gotcha game. And I'm gonna do this. Gotcha! Gotcha! Not really putting any pressure on his collar yet. Gotcha! If I feel like I can add a little bit of pressure and he's gonna stand up and walk towards me, then I might. But if he's resisting at all, no pressure. Ah, yay! Good job! Ooh, gotcha! Good boy! Combine that with the name game sometimes, like I just did. Ira, yes, gotcha, good job, good job, buddy, good job. All right, now we're gonna move on to our hand targeting, which again is 
teaching our puppy to focus on the palm of our hand, ignore other distractions, refocus on me. Bop, bop, bop. Get his attention first. Bop, 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 bop. Touch. Yes. Good job. Okay, I want to try to do this sideways so you can see it. Touch. Yes. Good job. Touch. Yes. Good job. We just want his nose touching the palm of our hand. Touch. Okay, I'm going to try to really not reward for anything like pause. Um, I just want my nose, the dog's nose. Ira. Touch. Yes. Okay, so again, I got those pet that jump up with the paws. Touch. Yes. Good. Touch. Touch. Okay, I'm not sure. It sometimes that happens if you're trying to teach high five or shake. If um, so, try to try to maybe just do a little bit higher. Touch. Or maybe a little lower. Touch. Yes. Good. Not add too much movement. Touch. If he misses, put your hand away. Try again. Touch. <laughs> Touch. Yes. Touch. Okay, if he sits, put your hand away. Try again. Touch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Touch. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, any other behaviors? We're going to start over. Don't leave your hand out and then keep repeating touch. Put it away and start over. Touch. Yes. Good job. So, that was very nice. So those are the couple things that I really want you guys. Oh, hello, hello. So those are the things I want you guys focused on for um, till till we see you next week. Have a great. Hey, I, I did such a good job, by the way. What are you doing, my leg? What are you doing? Um, he really did had such a good week for his first week. We're very proud of him. Look over here. Hi. Look over here. Yeah. Oh, good job. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye.